All right, folks, we're back, wasting no time. In this middleweight match, we have Tommy Langacker in guard and Blue Gee taking on Oscar Gugala. Tommy opened up his campaign at the European Championships with strong submission win. Already looking to shoot the triangle as Tommy. Oscar sits back down to avoid that. Should be noted in the corner of Oscar Gugala is a powerful Roger Gracie. Been here all week coaching his students. Yeah, nice color control from Tommy with the left hand, really keeping the posture of Oscar broken down so that even when Oscar does pop up to try to get some pressure going, his head is stuck nice and low. Leaves him exposed for those triangles. And at the very least, keeps him from getting the, the movement that he needs to kind of start to get that passing going. So really good control from Tommy here. Keeps him right where he wants him, kind of in the pocket. Allows him to go underneath that leg with the right hand, which could be used to come up for a sweep here. But they are right on the edge of the mat, so needs to be careful with the timing and the space. Doesn't want to lose a valuable position and lose out on the two. Yeah, we're seeing the patented key master guard in action from Tommy Langacker. One of his favorite things to do is to slide underneath his opponent, sort of like a modified X guard, also very similar to K guard. Tommy looking to wrestle up now for the two points. He gets it straight to perhaps an over-under pass. Beautiful Shape. hip control. Right onto the back here, already with the left hook inside, but they are on the edge of the mat. The referee will call out of bounds. We'll see how they choose to reset. Typically with positions like this, the referee will give an advantage and start them standing. When he awards two. He awards two here instead, and they will start on the feet. So you have a 4-0 lead here for Tommy. Eight minutes left on the board. And he sits back to the guard again. Oscar looking with a little bit better pressure or posture now than he had before, but Tommy's still with that really good lapel control that we were talking about earlier, the collar control with the left hand. Tommy's so comfortable on bottom, inverting, attacking either side. Really, really compelling guard work from the Norwegian here. But Oscar doing, showing off a great base. Interesting use of the right leg, like all the way across the, the neck of Oscar here. And now inside the gi, actually. the double sleeve control here. Maybe taking his time again, looking for an opening. All he needs is a fraction and a lightning triangle can come from anywhere, back take. Yeah, we can see there's a lot of respect for Tommy's guard here because Oscar's not really trying to like stand up and create a lot of big movement, but it can be, sc can be scary, right? It's for good reason with someone like Tommy and exactly for the reason we see here, locking up a big triangle. Gonna start to uh, maybe transition in here to the leg. Lost the posture control he needed to get the finish for the triangle, but the beautiful thing about the triangles that did open up these new positions to start to transition to great pant control with the right hand. He might come up for the two. Looks like he is interested in assuming the top position. Not quite a score yet. Great work from Oscar to fend off those attacks from Tommy. Definitely still not able to get any offense going. A strictly a defensive game for the Roger Gracie representative here. Oh, beautiful sweep attempt here for Tommy. But it looks like instead of coming up for the two, he's going to look for the back instead or potentially look to come up in a better passing position. I think we saw from a sweep a moment ago, he decided to sit back down, not too insistent on just looking for the two, but either interested in gaining something a little bit stronger, like the back, or potentially just more interested in coming up 
in a position that's going to lend a better passing opportunity. But it's nice to see his composure and kind of taking his time to set up these nice positions. It'll be interesting to see if we can expect Oster to maybe try some standing passing rather than staying on the knees, not having too much luck getting the getting any positional advantage here to look for the chest chest connection or passing the hip line. Tommy seems to be getting a little frustrated with uh, Oscar's conservative play on top. Oscar really not making much effort to pass at this point. I can't say I blame him in that respect. Tommy, very dangerous, but. Ooh. Beautiful use of the spider guard there from Tommy. It almost looks like Oscar wants to assume the bottom position, right? He kind of looked like he, he would really prefer to be on the bottom here. So now we'll see. Maybe he gets a little more aggressive from the guard position. Maybe this is where he prefers to be. We didn't see a two awarded for that either. So the referee did not did not award. Oh, did award it too. Last minute awarded it too. So we see six zero here. Tommy using a little bit of off-balancing work here again. Briefly glances at the clock. But so far, Kendall, Tommy's strategy is working to a T. Yeah, it's nice to see to see Tommy's, you know, he's extremely calm and collected here, not really pushing anything that isn't there, taking the opportunities presented. It, it's an interesting combination of controlling the pace of the match setting the stage for how he match, wants the match to go, but still not exerting any unnecessary effort. Just really calculated. And, you know, seeing as this is definitely not his last match of the day, uh, hopefully, you know, he's looking to win this match. He's not going to be blowing everything he has here this early in the morning. Tommy looking to climb the guard here a little bit as we approach the final minute of competition in this round. Yeah, first time we've seen close guard here, and Tommy looking for maybe a potential finish here with uh, less than one minute on the clock. First time we've really seen close to a finish, climbing the guard nice and high. Potentially opening up shoulder locks, arm locks, attacks on the neck. Right 
clock winding down here. We'll have time for one last key exchange, but it looks like, bearing a miracle for Gugala, Tommy will be moving on to the next round of competition in the semifinal of the middleweight division here. All right, folks, we're going to kick it over to Matt One, where we have Italian representative Luca Anacoretta taking on Bruno Felipe. This is an all-European quarterfinal. Bruno from Portugal. But spending a lot of time in the U.S. as well. We're getting into the quarterfinals of the heavier divisions now, and then we will circle back to the semis of the lighters and kind of go all the way up uh, to the finals later this afternoon. So winding down into the last, the last standing athletes of some of these divisions. Good morning. 